it was it, it was a little um, weak. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. So we're going to go ahead and lift it with a forklift this time. Back to baling hay, picking up hay. Got the Peterbilt down here. And uh, this is why when I get asked when I go home at night, my wife says, you want to go for a walk? Well, I don't necessarily want to go for a walk because I do enough of this around the farm. That I guess come wintertime, I probably better be better and, you know, go for a walk. My doctor asked me yesterday if I was getting plenty of exercise and everything. And I said, yeah, pretty much. I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> Days like this, I definitely get my fair share. So going up to get the skid steer, start loading hay and uh, trying to get some of this stuff done. Last crop for this year. And then uh, his sister's taking over the lease and we're moving on. Taking the horses home. Some new things have happened today. Got some property figured out where we're gonna put the horses, hopefully. Gotta get her done. So well, here we go. Looking back. Still pretty country though. You know, can't complain. It's a heck of a way to make a living. Even if it ain't much of a living. <laughs> uh, let's just say it beats working for a living. How's that? I have known Brent's kids since the oldest were six months old. <laughs> Cameron was my little buddy. He's like number three. Uh, but I gotta tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cuss Cameron a little on. Like, Cameron! Undo it! Take it off! You little turkeys. He's so funny. He brings it back after he's worked it and it's, it's all still tied up. It's like, dang you, Cameron. That's all right. If you're watching, Cameron, you can go ahead and comment. And if he's not watching, I know that his brother will comment. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe they're not there watching anymore. All right, here we go. Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon, whatever. We're out here starting a new process of trying to get these weeds all cleaned out. We've got these great big piles that I left accidentally, purposely, all sorts of different, you know, but trying to get rid of them so they'll blow away so that we can hopefully plant this next week. There's rumored a rain shower this weekend. We are hoping to take advantage of the moisture to get this rain planted so that it uh, well, hopefully gets up a little, gives us a little more of a fighting chance before winter, I guess. Um, Labor Day is the cutoff usually where you start, and I think he said November 15th or something like that. It's usually the latest date, so we're trying to get in as early as we possibly can, see if we can't create a better wheat, wheat crop this year. Okay, so watch as I go. I'm going to have some fun. We are going to go back over these piles and try and get rid of them because they are not blowing away too much dirt. So we're cutting them with the chisel plow halfway. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Maybe a problem, maybe not. Got a whole bunch of weeds trying to figure out how to get these to blow away. So there you go. <laughs> Here's my real big first attempt. I was only supposed to cut half the pile, which is what I did. But boy, it got away from me. There's pretty big piles in there, so. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. We're uh, finished up our, our raking from last week, and we are now trying to get ready to plant. Hopefully this week we're gonna have a a uh, watershed moment. We're gonna have a rainstorm, I hope. Oh, some watershed, yeah, let's see, how, let's see how that turns out. But we'll take any rain we can get, because then we can plant. So we're only just barely doing this below the surface not even really much below the surface to try and keep the moisture in the ground because we're having that you know back to having it dry again you know but if we plant we need the ground we need the moisture so here we go for our second round let's go across this side and see what this does for me just trying to get them to where they'll loosen up and blow away get rid of some of these dirt mounds i think it's going to work okay Got about 15 or 20 of these I gotta do. So there we go. And up we go. Spread the weeds out. So they'll blow away. That's gonna be the solution, I think. Okay, keep it going. Got a few more out here. You ended up with some really big piles out here. I didn't even realize how big I'd gotten it. So I, I gotta get rid of these. So that's what we're doing. I think it's doing a pretty decent job is pulling some of the dirt out to make 
packing them. Hopefully, where they'll blow away. But I am packing quite a few. Oh crap! In my. Trying to cut them in pieces, like Brent said. Sorry, Brent didn't mean to jerk the tractor like that. Okay, so we're still we're getting them though. We're whipping them out. Here comes a rainstorm. Yeehaw! All right, so um, I totally forgot to start this video out the way I was going to because not start. I'm in the middle of a week. But anyway, let me. I yeah, I broke. I broke. I broke another machine. I I've learned something today though. And I should have showed you this, but I'll show you, I'll show you right here. Okay, I want you to see this piece right here. This piece, if you'll notice, is discolored from here all the way down to here. So at some point in time, they got it twisted. Okay, in order for me to kind of show you. There you go. They got it bent. You can kind of see. Let me see if I can get it closer. You can see where the bend is right there. So they the people that Brent bought this from got that twisted. So it crystallized. And I'd never seen this before and I was thinking it was cast. I should have I should have videoed that to show you that it crystallized along that line right there. So yesterday when I was in the weeds trying to clean the weeds up because that's what we're doing right now, I was trying to get these weeds cleaned up so you can plant. I got this in a really funky position and got it broke. Now my welds are not great right here because it is a farmer weld and I'm in a really tricky spot, but where's Miguel hiding? <laughs> He's hiding over there. He's like, I don't want to be known in this guy. So um, that's our project for today. And then we've got to also go fix the, um, the harrow, the heavy harrow. We got to go fix it because when Brent picked it up yesterday and none of us knew where the pressure came from, we finished off the brake that was on that one bar i'll show you i'll show you here in a minute somebody please remind me to film this so i can show you what we're doing but so we're gonna fix this and i'm gonna do this several different ways i'm gonna put a uh, brace on it I mean, i'm going to plate this and do the best i can because it's in a really weird spot i'm gonna do the best i can to plate this thing and at least try and add some strength and rigidity to this where they where they cracked it where they crystallized it so I'm good. This I didn't. I didn't even realize. But see, this piece in the back actually was to hold it straight, which was a wrong process of thinking. And obviously, I figured it out as soon as we put any stress on it. We we basically broke it. So we're gonna do some things. I'll show you as I go along. Maybe I'll have Miguel film. He he doesn't like to film. So. <laughs> not gonna lie to you when I say that I really because I could not get in the bottom of that and that's where that crack was I don't know my welds look bad in spots and good in other spots but I don't know if that's gonna work so we're, we're putting it back together because just that one piece but I got weld in it I built up this other side I built it up pretty solid to hopefully take some of the pressure and then I tried to tie that back in but they did a lousy job of that. So we're, we're putting it back together. So we got to put our long piece on the piece I fixed earlier this year. I got to put that together and uh, we're going to see if this thing works. And then we can move on to the next one, which is the heavy harrow. And I'm going to try and take pictures of that before we get started and do a little better job. But uh, those are our projects for the day. Dang, I wish I could get that weld in there, but I just, I don't know how I would do it. Okay. Okay, so we've seen this piece before, and this is what's happened. It's actually split all the way along that seam on that edge. So we're gonna, I'm gonna weld this side, and then I'm gonna beat on that other side to bring it down because honestly, I don't know any other way to do it. So I gotta make it straight. If I look at it, that's pretty darn straight. I can see where it's gotta go a little bit more like that right there. Yep. 
You see that? Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna put a piece of this angle iron on first thing. I've coated the inside with a little bit of paint. <clears throat> just, just as kind of a rust preventative. Oh, it's all look. It's, it's, it's now it's uh, magnetic. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Magnetic. So much easier to weld on when it's magnetic. All right, here we go. So let's put that piece on. And then I think we'll attempt to do some more pounding and some cleaning up. Obviously, I've taken the paint off, trying to get a better weld. Brought it into the shop because I figured it'd make it easier. Let's try that. Size my welds a little bit. That one's actually not half bad. Slowed down a little on this one. A little more stacking dimes there a little bit, and that's not as good as it should be. So, eh, you know what? Never said I was good. Just said I'd get the job done. So. Okay, so I got to weld a little on that top to try and figure out how to get that piece back together. Go from there. Okay, we're down to the uh, final little bits of welding. I'm going to weld those together and uh, try and make it watertight so that nothing gets inside there and uh, obviously we don't want that to uh, rust. Oh yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> and. Uh, We'll go get it put back on, on. Maybe I'll show you. I'll make Miguel do all the work and then I'll show you. I'll film him doing all the work. <laughs> He's like, no, you don't. Okay, so we'll be done here in a minute. Okay, came to the end. We did complete it. I did not do the best job in the world, but I guarantee you what, it looks a whole lot better than it did before. So I welded it all, tried to make it watertight. We're gonna paint it. We've got some paint that pretty well matches this. So when we get it out there, I'll, I'll show you quick how we get it in there. It's super, super simple. Two pins, one pin down there, one pin up here. This pin up here was a kind of a pain in the butt. That pin's super easy and we'll be done. So we're gonna haul it in. Okay, here we go. We're gonna forklift this on the truck this time only because last time it was a little tentative. It was, it, it was a little um, weak. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, so we're going to go ahead and lift it with a forklift this time, and uh, we're, we're going to uh, put it on the truck, tie it down, go out, put it on, be done for a Friday. Sounds like fun to me. Okay, so stop right there. Stop. Uh-uh. Come down. Now. There we go. Okay, come on. We'll come right out, come on out. Go that way. Easy peasy, lamb and squeezy. Do a little forklift work here. Make my life easier. I don't wanna work extra hard if I don't have to. And then we'll load it on the truck. Thankfully we have a rack. Tie that sucker down and go out to Cedar Valley. Throw her on. Take the, gotta take the paint with us. Gotta remember to take the paint. Gotta remember to take the paint. So that's a, that's blue. It matches the uh, Firefly, which is pretty close to this. So we're just gonna paint it up. It'll be sweet. Let's see if we can put this on here without. See, now when I have Miguel doing stuff, I can actually, you know, I can, I can do that. There you go. JCB that we've done tons of repairs with it actually needs a new starter now. We have to get out and hit it with a hammer. It started this time, so he left it running. Kind of fun. Kind of not, but okay, that's how come I had to wait for him because I had to have help. Couldn't run the forklift by myself because I couldn't get the stupid thing started. Okay, here we go. Let's see how he does. Look at that, like a professional, just like he's been taught. Look at that. Look at that. There you go. That's good. Oops, sorry. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I'm watching him. Okay, cool. We got her on. Good job, Miguel. Good job, Miguel. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got that thing causing the spits again. 
got to roll that back up. The springs are toasting. I got to get them tightened back up. Winter project. Okay, so we finished. We finished. Let me let me show you the, the close-up shot. But we are finished. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Oh, yeah, it turned out good. It turned out good. Okay, so there it is. That's the finished product. I'd say it's not as pretty as I wanted because I was running out of grinding wheels. To be honest with you. And uh, I'd like to have taken some more time with it, but it was getting to be a long part of the day. Straighter than that one, which may be a problem. That one's got a real bad twist in it. Way straighter, huh? That, that one's got a, that's got a big twist in it. It's straight. Straight as a pin now. But okay, so okay, there you go. So, put my face in the sun and say, hey, thanks for watching. It's been an interesting week. And uh, we're done for this week. So hey, thanks for watching. Come back. See what we do next week because you never know around here. Hopefully we're planning next week, but I don't think we got enough water, so off we go.